Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSS. Now, main incision. You can make the side port first if you want. I usually make the main incision first and I always include some capillaries in the wound. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Then I make a side port about 90 degree away from the main incision because if the side port is 90 degree away from the main wound, it will neutralize some amount of astigmatism induced by the main wound. And now with stereo coaxial illumination, capsulorexis is being done. This is Lumera T microscope from Zeiss. A round rexis has been achieved. Now hydro dissection is done, hydro delineation also has been done in this case. The nucleus is tapped and the anterior chamber is again filled up with visco. And now let us observe in direct vertical jaw. The fecal needle goes in with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now the tip of the phaco needle is turned to make the bevel off. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus to achieve total occlusion of the tip. And my aim is to go till the end of the heart part. If there is some air bubble, we have to remove the air bubble first to have good visibility. Now the handpiece goes through the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is then subdivided into two large fragments. Now I come to the other heminucleus and divide this heminucleus also into two large fragments. Now each fragment is held with vacuum and brought at the center of the anterior chamber and emulsified. Used in this case is 75 percent, flow rate is 47 ml per minute, vacuum is 475 millimeter of mercury. Now this is the last piece. At this time I decrease the vacuum to 400, flow rate 40 and with this setting I remove the epinucleus and some cortex also, 400 millimeter of mercury and 45 ml flow rate. We must be very careful if we want to remove some cortex by the handpiece itself and there have been incidences in my hand that I have ruptured the posterior capsule in few occasions. And now the remaining cortex is being removed by a 23 gauze Simco cannula. This is a very safe instrument to remove the cortex. The fibers that sticks to the posterior capsule can be removed to great extent by the Simco itself, but I nowadays to hydro polish to remove the cells that sticks to the posterior capsule like this. The irrigating probe is used 
and the irrigating zeta of fluid is directed towards the posterior capsule and the irrigating cannula is swept side to side. I am going to use a B cartridge, so the main wound has been enlarged to about 0 0.1 millimeter and now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. This is moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. If the wound is not stressed, lot of hydration is not required. And now the entire chamber is in nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.